So the final session of Mohican transition week is going to be some deadlift and clean. Part of the timing of this transition week is pushing out the work capacity. So we're, we're not gonna have any work capacity this week. That of course is by design. We want you guys just breathing easy. The one sole exception would be these sprints, but they're such short efforts, they're not really necessarily taxing your metabolic system, um, but more along that central nervous system um, uh, stress there. So nothing metabolically super challenging this week. For our deadlifts and, uh, or for our deadlifts today, we're gonna be working at just a three by three. So again, half volume, working up to the same intensity, 70 to 80%. And we're actually not doing cleans today. We're just going to be doing our easy pace work to for the remainder of the session. This may take you, you know, 30 minutes to get to this point. It may take you 20 minutes to get to this point. Whenever you get to this uh, easy pace portion right here, you're just going to be going through that 50 meter heavy sled push. And by heavy, I mean uh, a weight that you have to walk. You should not be straining, but even if you wanted to run, you, would, uh, you wouldn't really be able to run it for that entire 50 meters back and forth. So we want a walking gait, that, and that should guide where your weight is. It doesn't have to be the same every time. If, you, if it feels a little easy, put some more weight on. On the next round, if it feels a little light, take a little weight off on the next round. Then we're gonna go into a 200 meter light tire drag. So we're doing heavy sled push two lengths here at the HQ gym, all right? 25 meters this way, 25 meters back that way. And then you're gonna to transition to a light 200 meter tire drag. Basically the, the weight of the tire alone, of course not all tires are created equal. Some are much more difficult to drag than others. I want you to pick a tire that feels pretty easy for you to drag, all right? I want you focusing on scooping your hips underneath you, not, getting, not having your hips be pulled back as you work through that walk and maintaining that upright posture as you're moving with that tire. From there, uh, we're gonna do 10 push-up circles, two circles on each side, and then five vertical pull of choice. Really doesn't matter what pull, um, it doesn't matter to me what pull you do, chin up, alternated grip, uh, horizontal pull up. Horizontal pull up, of course, is named horizontal, but um, I would consider it a, a vertical pull. Um, a vertical pull, at least a, a accommodation for those who just really struggle with a strict vertical pull. Uh, so wh whichever one you want to do, throw in a five and of course you can mix it up as well. Use a band if you need, no need to use weight today. The intent is for it to be an easy pace. So at no point should you be straining um, for weight. That's going to be our final session. I hope you feel recovered after this week so that you can, we can enter into next week feeling fresh, ready to take on the heavier loads, the lighter volume as we prepare to taper and then peak throughout our next program.